Okay, so let's go ahead and start working on our project. We're going to create um, Canyon and we're going to create inside the Canyon River and add some additional properties and work a little bit more on material distribution. So kind of going through all the project step by step and help us to explore a kind of additional options for our terrain. Okay, the first, if we're going, we'll look on our layout and right here we have a nice terrain going on. Okay, we can also come a little bit closer, see our, and so right here, it's why I want to create um, kind of canyon maybe going around. So let's go and create a new layout. And a new layout, I'm going to select the line tool. We'll just go click and maybe select. Again, if you don't like it, you always can just go ahead and delete it and recreate new. Or, for example, we can go select a few points. Okay, right here. We can always go select on those points and readjust them a little bit in a way you like it. Okay, um, right here, open some shape. You can always go by edit or just double time click. We'll open our shape properties. Okay, so and right here, what I want to do is slightly modify. Mostly it's fallout distance. We can play with this. Um, I'm going to actually create a little bit larger size. So maybe going about six, seven. We can modify. I'll go increase size as well of our terrain that we render so we have a kind of nice look and I'm going to save the curve change a little bit so it will um, create kind of nice um, effect right now it's look like a mountain so if we're going inside and invert values here we can start creating um, our canyon but you notice it look just like one big blob so let's work a little bit first work on those lines around here we'll go to use it breakouts let's go open edit and you can see we have it can add some nice effect the breakouts it's add um will have it our path just add additional fractal noise to the shape so it will provide more natural look okay let's go click ok and also i can go slightly modify adjust our lines and you can see it's kind of nice about this so we can create a little bit more interesting canyon this way okay right here and i also will going inside um let's go overview select our extension and i want to increase a little bit Of course, we can play a little bit more around, shrink, maybe expand. We'll see how it's come up. But I think as a basic for now, that will create nice areas and kind of like valley right inside here. Okay, we can go in this and, for example, just stretching out. And pull this out. So just so we have it kind of nice in and out and valley river will go inside okay also sometimes what's happening is have a nice line but right here for example in some areas you want to come closer but you notice what we did when we work with the fallout we kind of follow our distance and we'll apply equal kind of involved directions if i want to create maybe some overlap effect best way to do it's created and add new layout so what I'm going to do in this case I'm going to create new layout I'll take a circle draw a circle right here you know and probably just place it maybe a little bit on the side okay let's oops let's select it oh, maybe a little bit sideways we're also going to use it breakout can add it I think roughness may be around right um, except inside we have it straight fallout for this one 
So we'll have it a little bit sharper edges. And we'll just leave it as a three for now. So we'll modify it. So you can notice at this point, we have a two layouts. Okay, we have it one layout, it's line we're creating. And we have a second layout, which is kind of um, the middle. So what I want to do, I want to combine them together and use it this main layout for our advanced plan. Okay, so let's go ahead and combiners. We'll take combiner, place it, and we'll go combine these two together. Okay, right now, if you can see right here, we have an interesting combination, but this is using normal average and string. So instead of that, what I want to do is use the root. You can see how it's pop up and look on a map. You see how when I'm increasing this area, it's also bring. So instead of having these smooth areas, I can add some additional elements to this and make them much sharper to the edge so it's almost like some rock and maybe overhanging okay so we'll go bring up to this and next we'll go connect to our advanced perlin so we'll just take height and we'll go to mask input okay at this moment if we'll preview right here that we have it our map notice what we did by adding this element we have a little bit sharper this edge and smoother on this side because it's probably you know maybe worth to go and um, make a little bit bigger I think okay let's go preview so right here we have it very nice okay this is again our basic beginning so we'll work with this and next let's go inside and work a little bit on the settings for our advanced Perlin fractal. Okay, so for these settings, I want to take over all of feature scale and bring it down. By observing on our preview, you can see we increase details higher or lower. So I don't want to go that low, but I want to go maybe around 1816. So it's provide very good details. We can always increase or decrease a little bit later as we're going. Let's also bring our elevation a little bit high, which add higher contrast kind of points, higher points and lower. So we'll have it nice peaks going through. And we can also bring stepness up. Okay, rest, let's leave it as default. We'll have the rigid account. So everything gets look similar. We'll go click OK. And we can preview. You can see what we did. We add a little bit more on top. So kind of plateau look. Okay. So as we were working along, what next I want to do is add additional details. And most time on these areas, you can see terrace kind of going on the side. So let's go inside. And we'll go actually filters. We'll go right here. Click on terrace. And we'll just place it right between notice you can insert in the nodes when you move in it's highlighted in turn so when we place it it will place between the nodes let's just leave it save time sometimes from dragging and adjusting so right here you can see we have a terrace and if we preview at this point okay let's go render very fast so we can preview you can see we have a terrace problem with this they're very straight going forward they don't have a kind of shape to them at all and other tutorials will look how we can modify and apply it to the terrace by using terrace modulation. So and that's what we're going to do. But for this, we'll use it for night um, modulator. So let's go. Okay, and right here you can preview what we have. It. And I'm going to use it F4 to F2 modulation. So it's look almost like a rocks kind of. We leave it as default, you know, maybe even play you can move a little bit with shape see which one you like it okay you can also play with a seed and maybe with a scale so I'm going to bring a little bit down scale because we did quite a bit on this all right here okay and next I'm going to connect to our modulation so let's go ahead and preview at this point you can notice right now with modulation it does not go straight like right here it's going up so we have a kind of nicer, a little bit more natural looking. Of course, we need to readjust and rework, but 
it's already not straight lines so you can try also using different modulations for example was using more smooth type of modulations and they will provide a little bit different effects but for this point so it will be nice and let's go ahead and next step so we'll continue increasing more um, natural look by introducing our filters so let's go ahead and do this in the next portion of tutorial